live from Interstate 84. I guess it's a happening place if you enjoy like running across the highway. Can I say the line? Sure. A real happening place here in where are we? Dixon City. Dixon City. We can. Uh, I don't know what to say. Good. <laughs> where you can go to college. There you go. <laughs> It's a wonderful, beautiful, early nighttime edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Get that out of my face <laughs> while I'm driving. Sorry. Wow. Exit 188 right at the spot. Right at the sign, you get Burger King. Apparently that's what it says on the sign. Yep. Uh, what do I got to rant about today? So, so I got this thing a little messed, messed up. up today because for some reason it looks brighter outside, even though it really isn't, than inside the car. Yeah. Don't know why, but anyhow. Yeah. What I got to rant about today, people, restaurants. And our toys. And, and, and yes, and th th this is, well, not in restaurants and their toys. Fast food restaurants and their toys. Uh, I, it, you know, it's worse enough that a kid's crappy meal <laughs> costs so much money. And it does. Crappy meals cost a lot. Okay, and that's what they are. They're crappy. It's funny when if you buy the things individually, you probably come out cheaper than the crappy meal. But anyhow. And the whole purpose of getting kids that happy crappy meal. It's a good it's so, toy. They want a toy. I want a toy. I want that toy. It's not like a dinosaur. I'm not a dinosaur anymore. Dinosaur the baby? I'm the baby. I love me. Um... <laughs> Anyway, um, you know, at, at some place, don't get me wrong, some places have interesting toys. You know, every once in a while, McDonald's and Burger King might have some interesting toys, especially if there's a movie like there's. And I guess they compete sometimes over the movies, over who's going to win the deal to have the toys, you know, for the movies. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's good toys, sometimes, you know, McDonald's did the Beanie Babies years ago, and that, that was like a big thing for the longest time, and I think the best thing Burger King ever had was those damn Pokeballs that, that they did like 20 years ago, they had the little gold uh, Pokemon trading cards in them, um, that people still sell on eBay for a fortune, but anyhow. But then you get some places like Wendy's and Arby's, and, you know, um, Long John Silver's and things like that, and, and they've got some of the crappiest toys, like, I mean, crap, <laughs> you know, you buy your kids that stupid crappy meal, because they want a toy, and you get crap, <laughs> Like, you know, well, first of all, Wendy's owns Arby's because Arby's was going bankrupt and Wendy's bought Arby's. So that explains why uh, years ago they bought them, which explains why the toys are so crappy. But, like, you know, you, you'll go to, like, Arby's, say, for example, you know, you do for the longest time. You, you get these stupid little paper to, like, stupid, stupid toys. I mean, stupid. Like the weird yellow one that we got. Or even Wendy's. I don't know where that was from. I think it was like from when? No, it was from Burger. Wait. I don't know who it was from. It was when, from Burger King. But when, Wendy's. But like yeah, when, Wendy's. Like when Wendy Wendy's used to give out toys that sometimes you know like they were like either the impossible toy. It's like how the hell does this thing go together? Or you look at the toy and it's like what the <laughs> hell is that thing? <laughs> like it has you know, no butt like, or like legs. It, it like the weirdest thing in the world or like. You know, or just a toy. It's like, well, what is this from? <laughs> like, what is this piece of crap from? Like, I, I've, I've never even seen this before. Like, just stupid. Stupid toy. And your kid's supposed to be overjoyed. Oh, I got a toy! I got a toy! It's a piece of crap. <laughs> and the piece of, like, or toys have pieces you know, all over your car and things like that. And it's like, but at any of these toys from any of these places... We all know what happens. They, they wind up all over your car, getting stepped on, in pieces in the driveway, or in the house, part of them gets sucked up by the vacuum cleaner, or, you know, or Fluffy the puppy plays with it more than your kid does, but they had to have that damn toy, you know. And then the kid's arguing, Why you they got this one? This is another one! 
and you're going, you know, going up there to the counter, like a, a towering little infant, like, you know, like, can I check a different one besides this? And then, like, that 16-year-old behind the counter has, like, you know, the authority of the world. It's either, like, no, or that's the only ones we have. Or you get the ones that, like, huff <sighs> because they're searching through the box of toys to find a different one for you. And sometimes they're successful. Sometimes they're not successful. You know, it's, that, that's just how it is. So the kid can have that toy that falls apart or... You know, we've all been through it. I ha hell, I used to have lots of toys for, you know, for my one kid. I remember the one time when she was little, we gathered up all the stupid McDonald and Burger King toys that we've had gather, you know, had around the house and everything. And literally, we like, uh, we literally filled up a whole trash can with all these stupid, stupid. Stupid toys. Very stupid. Very stupid toys. Where's the? Do we have that ugly toy um, that we recently uh, got? Uh, an there was a toy here. I swear, this thing was like one of the. Very things. ugly. Oh my god, the ugly! I don't even know what this is from. It, it's like more than ugly. Well, I know what if we can like. find it, can you find it? Mm, I'm the Anyhow, so we get we get this toy that's like literally. Uh, this toy was so butt ugly. <laughs> oh my god. This thing was like the epitome of ugliness. So these toys are just garbage. Or if you go and you, you say, oh, I want to buy the toy. Okay, it's $2 or $3. And, you know, and it's like a 50 cent toy. It's like when you go to the... You go to the Jersey Shore or something. You're on the boardwalk, and you, you know, your kid wants to play the games. I want to play the game. I want to play the game. They win a spider ring. You know, it's like, oh, it costs you two dollars for the game to win a, a five cent spider ring. Basically, the, the same type of thing. Yeah. But once in a while, there are good toys, like you know, the little beanie baby toys and everything that the kids wind up playing with, and you know, and then a couple years later, you find out the stupid toy is worth a freaking fortune now because McDonald's only had, like, you know, a couple of thousand made in the entire country of this one particular character or something. And then you're, like, kicking yourself. Oh, I should have had my kid play with that. But anyway. So this was a stupid rant. Wasn't long. Wasn't much going on. But anyway. That, my friends, is all I got to say about that.